During the final reveal of the SW-1500s, a problem came when Karsk number 11 came into the spaghetti bowl. He just gave it up. And you, you can see that in there. And the, and the reason he gave it up uh, is because his trucks were touching the underframe, which we don't want. But his trucks were touching the underframe to make the couplers match the coupler height. Okay, so that doesn't work. We're going to raise them up with some washers. But if we do that, we have to lower the couplers. And one way we can do that is by using some couplers. These are called overshanks. I kind of wish they were called undershanks, but they're called overshanks. That means the shank goes over the top of the end. Now these are Bachman Easy Mate Mark II. I'm going to show you how to make these work good. Now they're plastic. And I have actually had, we can't use these on like the Osmax train. The one that's way too heavy that you saw at the end of the video. Can't use that on this. But for the scrap and train, this will just barely make it. I think it'll hold on. However, to do this, we got to prep it. And the way we're going to prep it is we're going to take this Zep dry graphite and we're going to spray the couplers. And then we're going to take a brush. We're going to take a makeup brush like this and we're going to polish them. They're going to look good and then they're going to be totally good to go uh, as far as coupling and uncoupling. All right, so I'm going to go spray them, then we'll come back and I'll install them. All right, five minutes later, after spraying the couplers, they're ready to roll. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I take the makeup brush, and first, so you want to hold it so that you get the spring under control, and then you want to brush it with the makeup brush, a little bit vigorously, and then check it out it should look like steel that means you did it right all right then I also want to take it on the edge of the workbench like this okay and I want to just brush a little bit okay I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna brush it some more All right. See that? Nice shine. Okay, that's what we want. And then I'm going to go ahead and put them in. Okay, now I've also taken, I got some powdered graphite in this thing that you've seen many times. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of that on my makeup brush. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get in here. All right. Doesn't take much, a little bit. Okay, now we're going to install them. Okay, so these guys use a cover. Oops. They use a cover. And you want the flat side down. Put the screw in. Yep. Put the coupler in. Just like so. Tighten her down. Too tight back off okay now the, the cover is a little bit loose isn't it nope probably should have graphite the cover too okay that much so that it's like this now the cover is a little bit loose so what I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna take the goop and take take some goop here once again, why do we like goop? Because if we make a mistake or change our mind, it's easy to undo it. Okay, so now I'm just going to goop a little bit on the side, like yeah. Maybe a little bit over here, like about, yeah, yep, mm -hmm. just like that. Good enough, close enough. Do the other side. Okay, because I want to have it loose enough. So that the copper coupler it goes freely. These got their own springs. They're kind of like the the uh, KD. What are the new ones? The 148s with the the whisker couplers. Okay, too tight. Let's uh, let them go. Oh yeah. 
there okay they're, they're kind of like that and so like i said on super heavy trains you got to be a little bit concerned about plastic knuckles because we have definitely broke a few around here and this is under the car so you're going to see it but i want the i want the cover loose enough and we'll see if we can tighten it down just even a little bit more okay good enough now now that they're on here they're a little bit long but these are the guys that i have that have lower shank okay so now i'm going to take two washers Take these two here washers and I'm put a washer here a washer there I'm gonna put take my trucks one thing I'm worried about in these these screws are really short okay I got to have a little bit of play in them okay, I gotta have a little bit of play like that way not too much so it wobbles too much okay good enough if it stands the test of time we won't have to worry about it if it doesn't then we will add a tiny dot of goop to secure the screw if these screws stay then they're good all right now did we get a match let's go over here to the track okay let's find out let's put them up here put them up mm-hmm uh -huh. First, we'll go with the magnet. Yeah, that's what we like to see. Look at that. Over the magnet. Uh huh. Oh, what's going on here with my camera? Hey, we can stay focused. Okay, opening. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, coupler gauge. Nice, we did it. Other side, Let's check over here. Yes, perfect height. We are back in business. And I have to say, I have used that Zap Graphite on many things and it's good, it's great stuff. That totally works. And these couplers are gonna, they're gonna be fine. This train is heavy, but it's not too heavy for these guys. So we're good to roll. That is a wrap.